So granted, it's kind of silly to have this tremendous image, but let's just say that this is what we have to work with. And let's see if we could style things a, a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a style for Mo. And I'm going to set the style of the background image. Um, and what I'm able to do here is actually go in and put in a URL. And I'm going to take this URL and put it up here. And I'm going to change this div to give it a class of Mo. And go back over here. And I won't end up seeing anything, but I do have my background image there. Um, and the reason why I don't see anything is that I don't really have any width and height here. Let's say I wanted to make this a square image and I wanted to give it a width, let's say, of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. And let's just fix this style here. So now I see something here, but the problem is, is that this image is so big here that I'm really just seeing the top corner of this image. So one thing that I could do when it's a background image, and there's all kinds of styles you could look at for background images. There's a uh, background um, position that we could end up using. And if I put in background position, I could say I want to center the image. So if I went back here, I could end up centering the image. And again, this really isn't buying me all that much. I think it's probably showing me a little bit of what's going on over here. But the thing that I could end up doing here, which is uh, kind of interesting, is that there's another setting that I could end up using, um, which is I've got my background uh, position. And I've also got I could also put in my background size. And one of these that's kind of interesting is the idea of doing a cover. And what this will end up doing is that no matter how big the image is or whatever the size is, it'll end up fitting this area. There's not going to be any... You might get something that's cropped off if the uh, aspect ratio is, is off. But if I go over here and I say uh, background size... I could go and I could say cover. And so this will cover the entire image here. So I could use this image. And now if I did something like, you know, border radius, I could say 50 pixels. You know, then this will end up sizing up a little bit better. There's all kinds of things that you could end up doing with this. Uh, again, you could use background position where you could position something, you know, basically you could think about this opening as being a frame and you could move this image around in the background in the frame. So that's something that's pretty common to do when you have an image and it might not be the right size that you want and you want to end up using CSS to uh, position a certain uh, area of the image.